Hello, everybody. This is Mike Regan, Midwest Account Manager for the NEC Corporation of America, representing the NEC SL 1100 telephone system. And I'd like to welcome you to another one in my continuing series of pre-recorded WebEx seminars covering various aspects of the SL1100. And this session is going to be one of my quick hit sessions covering uh, a feature on the SL1100 that we call the SL11 mobile extension. So just a reminder is what mobile extension is, it's a way to integrate somebody's cell phone with the NEC SL1100 telephone system, and it does so through, through uh, TDM uh, uh, functions so that the user can never misses an important call. And you can set it up so that the incoming calls can ring a desk phone and their mobile device simultaneously. Once answered by the mobile device, calls can be placed on hold, transferred to a coworker, they can be parked. And a lot of the similar features that can be done with a single line telephone can be done with a mobile extension. Mobile extension user can actually call into the system, access the intercom, place a call through the system. Uh, if they make an outbound call through the system, it, it protects the integrity of their cell phone caller ID. Uh, as it uses the caller ID on the system, all right? So this is a great way to integrate uh, uh, mobile phones in with the SL1100 without having to go through uh, uh, using voice over IP, all right? Um, it does. It is recommended that either SIP trunks or PRI be used. You can use analog trunks. Um, you just have to do some extra programming involved with the analog trunks to ensure that the loop disconnect uh, engages properly with the phones. All right, here's the technical definition of mobile extension. Uh, mobile extension is an external telephone linked to the SL1100 uh, via proxy port. Um, this proxy port is designed to emulate a single line telephone extension so the extension can send DTMF system signals to the system, allowing for access to system features, okay? Mobile extension does use an analog port, although it does not require uh, an analog station daughter board to be installed, okay? But it does use up one of the available analog ports on the system. All right, and no physical key set is necessarily required. Um, in other words, it does not have to be paired or twinned with an extension on the system, all right? Each SL1100 comes with four mobile extension license included in it. To increase the number of extensions, you would pur purchase a mobile extension license for each additional user. An SL1100 can have a maximum of 32 mobile extensions on it, and the mobile extensions still utilize tandem trunking. So it is similar to off-hook call or off-premise call forwarding in that it does use tandem trunking. It's different than off-premise call forwarding in that um, you actually, the user, mobile extension user, has some call handling capabilities with, associated with the mobile extension. All right. But what I really wanted to show you in this little quick hit webinar is to show you the four basic steps for programming the SL1100 mobile extension. Those four steps are is to assign the mobile phone number, assign the mobile extension number, pair steps one and two, and then if needed, set up the twinning. All right, now as we go through the next few slides, I will be referencing the standard tab in PC Pro when talking about programming. So let's take a look at step one. Assign the mobile extension number or the mobile phone number for the mobile extension. To do this, you need to go through an available speed dial bin. To get to that, you go to system, speed dials, and assignments. So we're in systems speed dial, and assignments. 
you choose an unused speed dial bin, zero through 999. And then in program 13-04, you assign the number for the mobile phone that's going to be used in the mobile extension. You can also set a name for it as well. You can set a username for it here. All right, so that's all that needs to be done for assigning the cell phone to the system, all right? The next step is assign the mobile extension number. Now to do this, we go up to the top of our PC Pro screen and select filters options. Click on the filters option tab. When you do that, you will get a list of, 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 of things over here on your uh, left-hand side of the screen, we want to click on mobile extension list. So you click on the mobile extension list. Then a pop-up will appear showing all of the available mobile extensions to the system. And there will be 32 of them. All right, for this example, we are going to select extension 158. All right, so in extension 158, or we've selected 158, all right? Now what we have to do is pair the first two steps together, all right? So to do this, we go to stations, config, and setup. And then we select our station, which is 158, all right? That's the mobile extension number that we chose in the previous step. We go to program 15-22, which will show up right beneath that, and set the mobile extension speed dial target. Remember in step one, we chose speed dial bin five for our mobile phone number. So we put in that, that bin number there, five, all right? Once these changes have been applied and uploaded, you should now be able to disconnect from the system Go to any extension and dial extension 158, or intercom extension 158, and that mobile phone should ring. If it doesn't, you need to repeat steps one and two. All right. Now the last function is twinning. A common application for the mobile extension feature is this twinning application. And what twinning is, is the ability to have one's desk phone and mobile extension number ring simultaneously. This is a, a pretty simple setup. It is done via call forwarding, all right? So in this example, we're going to use extension 103 as our desk set to be twinned with our mobile extension, all right? So we are going to go to stations, config, setup. Once again, that stations, config, setup. Make sure we select extension 103, and then we scroll all the way down till we hit program 24-09, which is call forward fix settings. In our call forward type, we want to select from the drop down menu, call forward both ring. And then you see you have four destinations here. In each one of these destinations, you will enter extension 158. All right, and once you upload that to the system, when extension 158, or I'm sorry, when extension 103 rings, their mobile extension 158 will ring also. We have one more little step that we need to do to ensure that the voicemail box for the cell phone won't pick up. All right, so what we have to do is we're staying in the same area of programming, stations, config, setup, and up at the top of the screen, now we will choose extension 158. And then we will scroll down to its call forward fixed settings. But this time for extension 158 in the drop down menu, we're going to select call forward no answer. All right, call forward, no answer. And then in the destination boxes that we have, the four destination boxes, we're going to put in the pilot number for the voicemail. 
In this case, by default, the pilot number is 3999. So we put extension 3999 in these four destinations, and then we upload it to the system. We apply it and then upload it to the system. What we have done now is when extension 158 rings and nobody answers it, the user doesn't answer it because they're busy or whatnot, the mailbox for extension 103 will take that call because that's where it was originally transferred to. It was originally transferred to extension 103. All right? So remember, there are really only four basic steps to setting up the SL1100 mobile extension. You assign the mobile phone number to a speed dial bin. You assign the mobile extension number. Then you pair steps one and two. And then you set the twinning parameters if needed. All right. Remember, if you need help with any of this, you should be registered at our NTAC website, or you can call tech support at 1-800-452-4632. Right. Don't forget, we also have sales support available to you, as well as NAC Financial Services for leasing. And then our live calendar is up on the NTAC website as well that shows all the different webinars that we have scheduled. Right. There's your account manager map. So if you have any questions about this feature or any other feature, I cover the Midwest. And then here's a roster of all of our account managers and the areas that they cover. I thank you for taking the time to view my YouTube channel and to view this WebEx covering the NEC SL1100 mobile extension. Be on the lookout for more of these quick hit WebExes to hit my, uh, my YouTube channel, and I will alert you when they do. I thank you for taking the time to view this. I'm Mike Regan, Midwest Account Manager for NEC Corporation of America, representing the NEC SL1100 phone system. I thank you for viewing, and have a great day.